Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com, your earthquake channel. It is 11.08 p.m. on December 31st, 2020. Happy New Year in a few more minutes, uh, about an hour, another hour. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. We're going to go over a couple uh, warning for California and uh, the forecast for around the world for 30 different countries. And please stay with us. We're going to start with uh, some uh, news stories here. And first of all, we had a 3.6 earthquake. Um, let me just see if I can refresh this here. Yes, 5.41 in the morning on December 31st in the morning. 3.6 was felt through most of uh, San Francisco downtown here and over in Oakland as well. And that was a foreshock to the earthquake we're coming, is coming out tomorrow morning, most likely to hit tomorrow morning in the same area. Uh, the, the warning is actually for uh, Central California. We'll get to that in just a minute. 3.6 hit on 5.41 in the morning. This is from the Los Angeles Times on December 31st. Here's a news story from uh, NPR. NPR.com, I believe it is. It's 6.4 that we talked about on December 29th that hit Croatia, killed at least six people. You can see the damage there. And in the future, we'll do a little bit more news stories as well as uh, forecasting the earthquakes as well. We're gonna start with this warning for uh, California, 6.0 to 7.0 earthquake is likely across uh, Central California from uh, San Francisco to Santa Maria, Northwest LA to Ridgecrest up to Mammoth Lakes. Most likely to occur in the San Francisco Bay down to uh, Watsonville and King City Parkfield and that area, this area right here. But this is the warning area across Central California looking for a strong earthquake during the next uh, 24 hours, most likely on January 1st in the morning. So be aware of that and warn your friends and family. Alaska, the uh, risk is near Kodiak Island in the next uh, 48 hours. Kodiak Island, southwest of Anchorage. And there's 90% risk there in the Kodiak Island area. Over in Greece, uh, just a moderately high risk across the east, eastern Greece and 75 to 80% risk down in uh, Crete. And up in Istanbul, north there, 80 to 85% risk. Maybe a 4.0 to 4.5 in either of these areas here. In the Caribbean, most of the risk is uh, has dissipated in this area across Puerto Rico and northern uh, lesser Antilles. There's a 75% risk of maybe a 4.0 near uh, the Venezuela area. Central America could get a 4.0 to 4.5 in the western Guatemala and far southern Mexico. And a 5.0 is possible in the next 48 hours down in southern uh, Panama into Colombia. This is the forecast for Chile for the next uh, 48 hours. And uh, looks like a risk in far northeast Chile, maybe near uh, southeast of Antofagasta and northeast of Copiapo. Copiapo. And here again is the risk uh, in the Turkey forecast uh, up here in uh, northwest. Turkey, there's a risk, 65% risk there, and down in, the, in Iraq, northern Iraq, there's a moderate risk there as well. And in Peru, this is the risk over in uh, Colombia. This is Brazil down here, Colombia, 95% risk there, maybe a 5.0 to 5.5. In Colombia, it may be a 4.5 offshore Ecuador during this next 48 hours. Northwest Sumatra could get a possible 4.5 to 5.0 during this 48 hours from the 1st through the 3rd of January. And Italy, still this risk here of a 4.5 earthquake down uh, in, uh, in, uh, near Salerno province in southern Italy. So this is still possible here. And Japan, the risk remains near uh, Shizuoka to Chiba and also down here uh, east of Kochi and um, northeast of Miyazaki. So these two areas here, southeast of Tokyo. Get a 5.0 as possible in that area. 
The Philippines, uh, risk in the far southwest portion of the Philippines, maybe a 5.0 down there. Taiwan, we could get a 5.5 earthquake in the northern part, part of uh, Taiwan during the next 40 hours. And once again, we have a warning for California. A uh, strong earthquake is likely in central California from San Francisco to Santa Maria, Ridgecrest to Mammoth Lakes, most likely to occur in this area between Santa Maria to San Francisco Bay, but could occur anywhere in this area. Be aware of that and stay, stay ready for that uh, in the next 48 hours. Most likely to hit, this quake is most likely to hit in the morning on uh, January 1st. All right, thank you so very much for joining us today. Happy New Year coming up, but 2021 is, has got to be it's got to be better than 2020. Uh, and we will talk to you tomorrow on January 1st. Uh, same place, same time. And thanks for joining us. And please subscribe to our, uh, our channel here at, uh, on YouTube. And again, this is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com. Be, be, uh, be prepared for that quake tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon in uh, Central California, most likely near San Francisco Bay. Thank you so much.